Right, so we started a new save on Twitch recently. Um, the Yes Man Journey Man just wasn't interesting me as much as it should have been. And we started something new. OS Belenenses, uh, located out in Portugal, in Lisbon, a club with some pretty impressive history. They've, they're have one of the few teams in Portugal to actually win a Portuguese top flight. Um, but in the last few years, things really fell apart. Um, in the late 2010s, they were riddled with financial problems, which led to the business side and the actual like team side splitting off. Uh, the business side retained the top flight status, but had and the I believe the team, but had no none of the facilities. Meanwhile, OS so they became Benantes SAD. OS Benantes got relegated down to the sixth tier but kept all the facilities, the stadium and everything, and back, built from back-to-back -back promotions. Uh, I mean, they've been the ones that have been thoroughly supported. It's kind of like an MK Don sort of Wimbledon story, if you are more knowledgeable in Portuguese football. Sorry if I completely butchered that, but that's what it is. But yeah, that's what I do these uploads every season. Uh, we have just finished our first season out in Portugal, and... It's just it was a tale of two halves let's get to it i mean i guess i spoiled the first half uh, the way the portuguese fourth tier works is there are a load there are six groups in which the top two go into a promotion stage and the promotion stage is two groups of six the top two from those groups get promoted to the third tier um as you can tell our first half in the portuguese championship the Campeonato de Portugal. I will butcher some pronunciations. Sorry. Uh, we managed to finish top. Only lost one game throughout the entire stage. Uh, I mean, if we just go into our how it looked. Um, I mean, look at it. There were it was it was a pretty average start, and then tweaked a bit through a few bits with the formation, and it just. I mean, you look at some of these results here, an eight-one. 3-2, I mean, we were winning, we were just dominant, absolutely dominant. It did help that most of the sides were semi-pro and some amateur. I think there was like one other profession, a few other professional sides in the group, but we dominated through it. Uh, we can ignore the Tacha, Taca de Portugal, we can ignore that. That's, we, they were in the second tier. We did really well. Are you sure about that? Uh, I mean, if you look at it. We, we gave it our best. We didn't look great, but we did give it our best. But the, the, as much as the first half of the season went brilliant, it was perfect. Nothing could have gone better. It's that second half of the season that mm, that really, really was a problem. I mean, look at it. Smacked, smashed through our group, and then we managed to finish fifth in the Campeonato section the promotion stage I mean it looks a lot better than it is we managed to pull off two wins right at the end I mean if we look at the results for this we pulled off a very nice run of form at the end in which I kind of sort of tried to go back to the normal tactic um, my strikers were missing every chance I mean I'll show you some clips here we hit the we just hit the woodwork so many times it was just woodwork woodwork it was just it was infuriating Kikas. Or was Sean just being genuine? I don't know. <gasps> oh, what's going on? Inzaghi or Perlo? Oh, we've hit the post. Oh my god. I, I don't know. Araujo. Oh, it's at the bar. Oh. Some of chat need to hydrate. They will be in thirsty. Clay, oh my god, we've hit the puck. But we're still on the ball here. Collins. I know. If I had a pound for every time I've hit the woodwork tonight, I'd be fucking loaded. I would be able to quit. I'd, I'd earn more than I do in a month of work. But, yeah, there's, the problem is we didn't have a great striker. We had some really good players. We didn't have that out-and-out -out striker. This is our main striker here, Ruben Araujo. Uh, was here when we joined the club. 
14 finish on the outset, 14 finishing, 12 composure looks quite good. He wasn't the quickest. I didn't play a poacher. I don't like playing poachers, not in a one striker formation. I wanted to advance forward. He's just not that good. He hasn't got the pace for me. Yeah, he's consistent. Yeah, he's a, he's good for this division. He's not good enough. That's the problem. He's just not good enough. I need someone better. And why I signed him to a new deal, I don't know. That's going to be a problem I have to deal with. Uh, we did have this lad on loan, Abdul Ndoy, but again, just, just couldn't get anything really from him. I mean, we, we weren't paying his wages, so that's a good thing. But, I mean, he had to play quite a lot of the uh, promotion stage because Araujo picked up an, an injury. And the man, they, they were allergic to scoring. They hit the post every game. It was just, it was pain. It was horrible. There were some bright spots of this team, though. Uh, one of those being this find, a Kenyan wonder kid who is... Going, I don't know if I'm going to butcher this or not. Collins Shichenje. I plucked him out of Kenyan football. I don't know how. I think my director of football suggested him. I mean, as a ball winner, he's perfect. He's already got a cap for Kenya. We're not paying ridiculous amounts. Once he's homegrown, I mean, th there is a slight issue. We'll, we'll ignore his, his release fee. We'll ignore that. I hope we can get rid of it one day. But six foot four, he hits hard. He's a very good player and one that we kind of have to build this team around in this state. One of the star men that I wanted to build around when we got here originally was this man, Rui Pereira. 31, yeah, getting on a bit, but the man is way too good to be in the fourth tier. I mean, this team is too good to be in the fourth tier. The fact that I've thrown away that promotion chance is it's frustrating. It really was. I mean, I, I streamed it. Well, I'm recording this on Wednesday, on Tuesday, sorry, and I streamed the promotion stage on Monday and it was I've never been so frustrated a uh, team this is the formation we've rocked with throughout the year a very basic formation and it was working it worked so well in the first stage the first half of the season and as soon as we got into promotion stages it went wrong couldn't couldn't score couldn't do anything it's just it, it was a problem and I know where I need strength and I need better wingers. I need a better front three. I need better wingers. I need a better striker. I need a star midfielder to pair up alongside Pereira. There's a few things that need to be done. Luckily, the board have given us quite a bit to work with. As you can see, our balance, we ignore the balance. I don't look at the balance. That's that's fine. Hopefully the chairman puts money into it. £35,000 in wage budget. That was eight and a half thousand before the end of this season. It's a huge amount of money, a huge amount of money that I will be spending. It might mud the club, but if we can just try and bounce, if we can try and bounce up to third tier and enter the second tier, if we can bounce through divisions quickly, do something in the top tier, maybe it won't matter. Maybe it won't matter. £35,000 to spend, and I need to spend it. We need to get back to where this team should be um there is one good thing though about being a slow down and of course as you remember the facilities welcome to our 15 year old superstar Zhao Fialho already at the level to play maybe he's not as good as our starting keeper now but with I mean four stars is apparently second tier standard this man is going to be a world-class player there are others as well another one that came in in our foot in our proper youth intake was Rodolfo Nedio we could play maker who again is going to be one for the future the man is ridiculously good already we ignore the fact that he's got one strength he's got two decent feet he's consistent he's very determined just We'll just work on the we'll work on the strength. It's fine. Just one player to shout about. Um, of course, at the start of the save, I ticked add players, add players to playable teams, and we got given this guy, Miguel Lucas, <laughs> actually a really good right back who isn't actually involved with the team because of the stupid registration rules in the third and fourth tier of Portugal, which means you have to have homegrown and nation players. And the problem with these guys is I'm, I'm i'm thinking was i wrong was, 
uh, that some of these guys aren't actually homegrown in nation. I, I don't know how. So Miguel Lucas, for example, yes, he is. I mean, let's let's just look at Bialho. Apparently he's not. Apparently he's eligible in Portugal, but in the match day squad, they're not because of. Let me find the rule right here. Uh, the match squad must have at least 13 players trained by a club in Portugal. It just didn't seem to work. I don't know why it worked. didn't work. Maybe I'll have to look into something to sort out. But that's something I need to have a look at. So going into the second season, there are things we need to do. We need to get promoted from the Campeonato to Portugal. We need to get into the third tier. Hopefully get a better result in the Portuguese Cup. And one more thing before the end of the video goals they were incredible i mean by the end of the 25 26 season they originally wanted us to be in the top tier they've changed that now we actually have another few seasons to get into the four into the third tier i want to get through it this season um but they don't they, they haven't got it's 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 easier than it was it was scary how it was looking but it's a lot easier now but yeah that is that is the save and that is the video um, I mean, as I said, I'm doing these at the end of every season, not the end of every stream. I don't have time for that. <laughs> the end of every season, hopefully expect one of these out, hopefully a day or two after the first season ends. If you want to catch up with a save, which link will be down there, down below, feel free to pop along. I usually, my usual schedule is Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday nights, and then a Thursday afternoon. Uh, that changes, I mean, Twitter and Discord will be down there as well. That's usually where I post the schedules as well. Um, make sure you like the video, drop the, uh, drop the channel a sub. There will be another Arsenal video out soon. I will also be posting a video about the Yes Man Journeyman, something different to uh, to normal. A save I enjoyed, but wanted to try something different. Who knows? Maybe you guys might enjoy it as well. But that's it from me. Uh, stay safe. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Such an awkward wave.